In class 6, you studied about flowers, beautiful multicolored flowers. Are they only colors? Are they just the showy things which attract us? No, actually flowers are the reproductive organs of plants. So, just as they have reproduction, animals also have reproduction. The way animals reproduce or in other words, the modes of reproduction are two. First is sexual and second is asexual. What we find in organisms is that some organisms, some animals, they have both male as well as female reproductive organs, just like flowers. You remember flowers have stamens as well as pistil, which means they have both male and female reproductive organ. Similarly, there are some animals like tapeworm, earthworm, hydra, they have both male as well as female reproductive organs. Such organisms are called bisexual or hermaphrodite. But in case of animals, there are few bisexual organisms. Generally, the organisms are unisexual, which means they have only one type of sex organs. Either they are male or they are female. One type of sex organs. So, what are human beings? Anybody's guess? Are they unisexual or bisexual? What a thing to ask. Of course, they are unisexual because either they are men or they are women. So, what we find is that animals are unisexual and here we will study about sexual reproduction in animals, especially the human beings. Now, in case of human beings, what we find is the parts of male reproductive system are most important part is this testis. Why do I call it most important? Because they produce the male sex cell or the male gamete and these organs are testis. They produce sperms. You know testis are not in the male body. They are not inside the thorax. They are actually outside the body in a cover or a case or a bag like structure called scrotal sac. These scrotal sacs are around the penis. The testis is inside the scrotal sac. Why so? Because actually sperms need less temperature than body temperature for sperm production, 2 degree Celsius less. So, they have to be outside the body. If they remain in the body, because while the child is developing, then the testes are in the body. It is later they move on to the scrotal sac. So, if they remain in the body, then they are not able to produce sperms. The maturity of sperm does not take place. So, what we find is that there are two testes which are in the scrotal sacs which are around the penis and they produce the sperms. Now, coming to sperms, what we find is that sperm is a single cell structure. It has a head which has a nucleus, a middle piece and a tail. There is no nucleus in the middle piece. And of course, there is cytoplasm and there is nucleus. It moves with the help of tail. Millions of sperms are produced by a testis. 